<laughs> hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Corey, better known as the C-Man, and I want to welcome you to another edition of the C-Man's Cinema. Sit down. I apologize in advance. This non-stop drilling just never stops outside of my apartment, and today we've got two drills going since 7 o'clock in the morning, which has been pretty miserable. But we got a gift at 9 o'clock, and I'm very, very excited. Uh, as you can see, I've got a new t-shirt on coming from uh, the good folks over at New Rock Stars. Their merchandise is always super cool. And their What If shirt rocks. And I was going to debut this tomorrow, but we just got a little uh, Tuesday gift. What am I talking about? Why don't you pull up a chair? Take a seat. We are getting ready to take a look at the official mid-season sneak peek for Marvel Studios' What If. That's right, baby. We are, I think, ha around the halfway point right now in the season. Uh, so this is going to be the trailer that shows us what's going on in the second half. Which, honestly, like I think prior to like the last few weeks or so... I wouldn't have watched something like this because I wouldn't want any kind of spoilers, but I am so fascinated to see how this story is going to start being tied together and how it's going to lead into the MCU and where and how we might see characters we've seen before come back. Um, you know, we just got that actually with Black Panther. Um, well, I'm, I guess we, well, a lot of people came back. <laughs> Last week, but you know, I think we're gonna see like you know, Strange Supreme again, and I, I think we're gonna, you know, obviously, we're supposed to see Captain Carter again. Um, like, I, I'm just fascinated to see where they go. And now that we have a trailer to look at, I mean, why, why the heck not? Because we certainly haven't seen very much from the second half of the season outside of small glimpses of clean shaven Thor and uh, Tony being saved by Killmonger, but outside of that. We could maybe be going anywhere, so uh, let's not waste any time, man. Let's get get our look on while these drills just never stop. Uh, pull up the trailer. There it is. Uh, we'll throw the headphones on, and uh, despite uh, all of the terrible drilling going on outside, let's take a look at the mid-season uh, trailer for Marvel's What If. Why stop at one hero? Okay. When we can show you all of them. What? Heroes are forged in darkness, defined by sacrifice. There is Yo! still hope for They're the multiverse. Tony. Here we go. We do not back down from a fight. Aye, aye, Commander. Now or never. Zombies, great idea. That doesn't sound ominous at all. Wait, hey! what? I was through with a plan. I have a shield. Yes! More Steve! Yes! Oh, man. What? We don't have the shield? What happened to you? You will see. Yo! Or small, if you catch my drift. What if? <laughs> you know what they say when you're out of luck? Always go duck. I'm pretty sure no one says that. Now streaming only on Disney+. Plus. So, th there was a lot of stuff in there from the first part of the season that, that, we, that we've watched. I almost want to watch that. Should we watch it again? I feel like there was a lot of things down the back part of that trailer that like I, I mean I almost kind of want to watch the whole thing again I never run it back but like I feel like there was a lot of stuff like Thor and, and Strange Supreme how the heck did they get teamed up together and like are the Avengers like are, are we going to Endgame at some point like you and right I, I'm not I'm not watching but I, I've gone back and like it, yeah you, you I mean they're we're getting a multiversal Avengers guys I, I said it pretty early on um, it, it felt like that maybe was what we were building towards. Um, and it certainly seems like we're, we're heading somewhere that way. There is, oh my gosh, there's so much good. I'm about to break this down. There is so, they, they put a lot, they put a lot in here. I'm like, I, 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 I am so fascinated by the show, guys. I'm sorry. You're just watching me right now scroll back through some images, but like. 
I, I think I, I must have cut because I just started looking at the trailer going backwards. They loaded this trailer with so many little quick goodies. Um, and, and like I said, like Multiversal Avengers. That's going to be freaking awesome. Um, and and I, I just, I, I'm so excited about this show. And the possibilities just seem endless. And just off watching that trailer one time and briefly skimming through it. I think we can be headed to some cool, cool places. I need to go watch this trailer like 8 million more times right now. I almost want to pick the whole thing apart. Maybe I'll break it down. I don't know if I'm going to have time to break it down. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not going to make any promises, but I'm definitely going to look at this trailer a bunch more times. Um, so I'm going to go do that. Um, but before there, uh, I want to know your thoughts, man. Did your brain just break? I like, I don't, I don't, I can't even put together full sentences right now. There were so many exciting things in that teaser. Like, I feel like What If has been kind of under the radar. And something like this is, I think, something that would make, like, people that have certainly been watching the show very excited. But I think people not watching the show go, like, wait, what's going on here? Um, I, I, I want to know if that's you. What, what's going on right now? Have you watched What If? Where, where are you based on if you've been watching it, you know, the whole way? What, what does this trailer do for you? If you haven't watched any of it, does this trailer intrigue you more? Like, does this want to pull you in? Seeing more of kind of the multiverse being formulated and the multiverse colliding. You know, I think we're, we're getting some sort of a multiverse collision to get some of these characters together. And that very could be exactly what is happening by the time we get to No Way Home. Uh, so give me all your thoughts on that stuff, man. Anything you were thinking, good, bad, indifferent on Marvel Studios, what if, the, the multiverse saga, anything that's going on in and around this story and how this show of animated characters could somehow tie into the, 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 the real MCU movies. I, oh, there's, they could go a lot of different places and there's so much exciting stuff <laughs> there so let me know everything you're thinking down below in the comments section look forward to talking to you down there as always if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and if you're new you want to come hang out with the same man as we watch the rest of what if every wednesday morning you will get a non-spoiler and then sometime later in the day on wednesday or on thursday you'll get a spoiler review for everything what if you want to be here for all that uh with me on wednesdays just like what I'm doing around movies, TV, trailer reactions. You want to show a little love and support to this guy because you haven't yet? Well, hey, it's real easy to do. All you got to do is jump over there, man. Come join C-Manic Nation by hitting that subscribe button. Hit that little bell if you want those alerts. And until next time, for the C-Man Cinema Sit Down. I've been the C-Man. I'm signing off. Peace. Oh, hey, what's going on? Uh, you must be sticking around because you're looking for more content feature in this guy. Well, guess what? You're in the right place. You can check out more videos right here and right here. Uh, and if you have and you want to come join that C-Maniac Nation, you can hit that subscribe right over there.